Today we are going to perform our second part of fourth lab experiment for introduction to fluid mechanics. We are going to use an Archimedes apparatus to prove Archimedes principle of buoyancy force. Today we are going to talk about a very simple but widely known principle which is Archimedes principle. The learning objective for today is to verify the Archimedes principle using a brass bucket and cylinder with a lever balance and displacement vessel. Just a quick recap of Archimedes principle. It says the buoyant force on an object that is immersed in liquid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. The buoyant force, or you can call it up third thrust, is the resultant vertical force due to static fluid pressure. The up thrust acts vertically upward through the center of buoyancy, which is at the center of gravity of the displaced liquid. A minute and thought, you'll understand. The center of buoyancy and the center of gravity coincide for a fully immersed body of uniform density. So these are the common um, facts. Just you need to recap uh, about Archimedes principle. So let us introduce ourselves with our equipment. In the Archimedes apparatus, we have this one called pen. And underneath the pen, we have the hook where we're gonna hang the bucket and the cylinder made of brass. And we have the counterweight, this one. See, this counterweight can be removed this way. So if I put on the top, the scale on the top is the reading we should be using because there is two uh, scale on this gauge. Uh, when the counterweight is at the top, we'll be using the top one. We can also use the counterweight in this position. Then we'll be using the bottom one, this, this lower one. And when the counterweight is in this position, we have bigger moment, so this is to rise a higher weight. And we should be good with the counterweight at the top. Um, so we can use the full scale from 0 to 250. We also have the anti-parallax cursor, this one. We'll check whether the cursor is with 0 to make it balance. If not, we have to use the stopper to make it balance. We also have a cylinder that I told you, and this is the bucket. This cylinder perfectly fits inside the bucket. It is so perfect that um, it is not going in due to air resistance. And once this goes totally inside, it will not come out easily because of the air tight. We also have a glass container and this is the displacement vessel. What it will do is that once I immerse the cylinder inside the water filled dispenser vessel, it will remove this or displace the water, same volume of the cylinder and the excess water will go inside that plastic container. The principle is simple. The data collection is also simple. We just have to take four masses and that's all. We have to take mass about bucket plus solid cylinder, mass of bucket plus solid cylinder while, while the cylinder is immersed into water, mass of empty bucket and mass of bucket filled with water. So let's see how to collect the data. In this test, we're going to take four stages of data. First, we're going to hang the empty bucket with the cylinder dry, so there is no water inside. Uh, make sure it is balanced at zero. I checked. So I 
hang this them together I'm using the top scale which is from 0 to 250 gram so if I look it is around 179 gram now I'm going to take the measurement of the empty bucket without water which is uh, 98 gram next I'm going to slowly fill the um, displacement vessel so that up to the point where it lets go the additional water My displacement vessel is filled with water up to the top edge. Now it's ready to be tested. I will take the bucket and the cylinder and slowly immerse into the water and that should cause the excess water to go out, pour into the beaker. I'll let it settle down. The cylinder is totally immersed under the water and the water displaced by the cylinder is collected in the glass beaker. Now we're going to take the reading at this point. So we can see when the bucket and the cylinder hanging in the hook and then the bucket is underneath immersed in the water the mass is 169 gram the apparatus is counterbalanced with weight so this is uh, another mass this is mass it is balanced so this uh, counter system gives us the mass not the weight because gravitational force acting on both sides now our system is stabilized, no water is coming out from the displacement jar to the beaker here. So now I'm going to remove this and remove our bucket and cylinder. And we don't need this anymore. So the only data we have to take now is to take the empty um, bucket and fill it with water and I have filled the bucket with water up to the top surface there is no additional water on the edge now I'm gonna take reading of this bucket with water so if I take the reading of bucket filled with water it giving me 106 gram so we have collected all the data we need for this test now we're going to do the calculation and submit your report you can also take um, this water that was removed by the cylinder and take its volume or also you can uh, measure the mass of the beaker with water and then empty beaker and then you can also get the mass but remember we took the empty bucket weight and then the bucket with water so if I take that difference I can also get the uh, mass of the water displaced by the cylinder so once we have collected the data, we can use the concept of Newton's second law, force equal to mass into acceleration, F equals to ma. Acceleration in this case is the gravitational acceleration Z. So ma and A would be replaced by Z. So mz, we can get the up thrust, m1 minus m2 multiplied by Z. And the mass of water would be here we are talking about the mass of the water um, displaced by the cylinder. So M M4 minus M3 multiplied by Z. So according to Archimedes principle, our goal would be to see if those up thrust and mass of water are the same. As, as long as they are same, we can confirm that the 
Archimedes principle is valid. That was the second part of our experiment four. Um, we will next we'll talk um, about test five.